Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial series about a possible change from Color Panator Pro to Panator VR. Panator Pro and Panator VR are two creation programs to create 360 interactive virtual tours from Panoramas. And I've used both programs for years now for production purposes and showing them and teaching about them in workshops and video tutorials. And I'm here now to share some considerations for all those people who are thinking about to change from Panato Pro to Panato VR. The background is the closure of Color, the company which produced uh, Panato Pro and some other software apps by its uh, so-called mothership GoPro in autumn 2018 and a lot of people used Panator Pro to run their business in tour creation and creating virtual experiences for their clients. Panator Pro is still running. If you have it, you cannot buy it anymore and on long term you need to think about to change to another software as a time will come when Panator Pro isn't working anymore and its output as well. In this first intro video, I like to uh, show some common features, some differences and uh, what to think about when you change from one program to another. In the first videos of this series, I want to talk about more in general about differences and comparable features of both programs so you can have some overview for your considerations when you change from one program to another. And in these videos, I will compare features between both programs in detail and how to do stuff you did before in Panator Pro. Now you can do in Panator VR. How can the change be managed for you? Both programs uh, professional tools for 360 panorama tours, for VR interactive experiences for your audience. And both programs have nearly the same purpose and their outputs are quite comparable, but there are different ways how to achieve it. These differences starting, uh, are starting with uh, the user interfaces. Here is uh, your, the user interface of Panther Pro, you know very well. And we change this to Panator Pro. It looks pretty different uh, on the first glance, but there are they share more common features as you might think now. And the learning curve is not that steep as you might expect. Before we get into the details, I would like to share some general considerations before uh, about the both programs, about possible alternatives and uh, about scenarios you might step in when you change from one program into another. One first consideration is, especially when it comes to alternatives to both programs, to Panel to VR and to Panel to Pro, there are offline apps and there are online apps. Panel to Pro and Panel to VR are the only serious offline apps you can have when it comes to production of 360 tours. There are some others. They are working online. And uh, this is a first consideration I would like to make about the, the topics which might become important for you. First is performance. Uh, if you have an offline app, you can use the full power of your computer and you are not dependent on online connections and off, uh, online storage and online functionality which might, uh, which is maybe not reliable or sometimes offline or something else. There are a lot of issues you can have and uh, which are not under your control. Privacy is a big issue. If you're working professional with 360 VR software, you might have clients who uh, never want to see any byte of the work you are doing for them online, wherever. Think about military applications, think about um, business secrets, think about security issues and so on. 
So uh, with an offline app, you can cover these privacy concerns of your clients. With an uh, online app, it is not really possible. There might be the possibility of issues you can have with such project, projects when you're using an online app. Security is the same. When you're using uh, a software on your own, own computer, you are responsible for the security of your data. Uh, you don't need to rely on others. And uh, reliability, when y an online app is not online, and you can do nothing, if you're doing it offline, the re reliability only depends on your heart and software, and it's your own responsibility to take care about that. And you are not dependent on third party.